close to Frankfurt and it's about 30 minutes from there to the Rheingau, the region we're sitting in right now. It's really an excellent place to find out what the real Germany is like in the 21st century. And some of the world's best Riesling grow, is grown here in the Rheingau. People all over the world like to think in stereotypes and the stereotype of the Germans has long been that they make wonderful cars. How could they make something um, aesthetic like wine? They don't have any sense of humor. How could they possibly enjoy life? Um, you know, it's all sausage and beer and um, serious faces. Of course, this has absolutely nothing to do with reality whatsoever. The Rheingau is special for Riesling because you've got a near perfect fit of the grape variety, Riesling, and the climate. That's what the basis for all the world's great wines is. The typical aromas of a Rheingau Riesling like this is peach, white peach or yellow peach. And this one next to me, I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm expecting not only the, the white peach, but also some spring blossoms like outside there. The region also has a very special feel because this is the only part of the Rhine River's course where it flows from east to west rather than from south to north. And the vineyards of the Rheingau are sandwiched between the bank of the Rhine and the Taunus Hills, which are behind us here. Why is the Rheingau a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Because it's crawling with history. We're sitting at the Robert Weil um, Winery, which as you can see is super modern, but the architectural history of the Rheingau goes back a good thousand years. Each of the wine growing towns and villages of the Rheingau has its own wine festival. And those are great fun. A lot of wine growers do open days. You can go along, you can see their facility, you can see the cellar. Perhaps more important to mention is the Rheingau Musik Festival. That's a classical and jazz festival which runs through much of the summer. There's some great concerts there and some of them in stunning locations like Schloss Johannesburg. It was not far from here that I had my first encounter with wine made from the Riesling grape and I was a language exchange student. And when I arrived, the father showed me around and we ended in the kitchen. He opened the refrigerator and he said a magical word. Selbstbedienung, self-service. And the fridge was packed with wine and beer. And some of that wine was Riesling and that's what tasted best to me. That smells wonderful. White peach, lemon, some herbs and blossoms. Spring. Mm. Cheers.